you want to know why you are the way you are? Why you are attracted to certain things? Why you dislike other things? Why you tend to repeat certain patterns, even when you don't want to? And you do everything to prevent that from happening, and yet it happens again. How is it possible? Would you like to know how your character structure was formed? A very powerful and impactful perspective is bioenergetics. Alexander Lowen's bioenergetics. In it, you have five fundamental character structures that can be formed until the age of seven, more or less. And so what happens to us when we are very small, even before we are born, will then be wired into our character and become a part of how we are. But when we understand how we are, and why we became that way, we can actually start to loosen that up and become free from certain types of limitations. So, today I wanted to talk to you about the first of the five character structures. The schizoid structure is formed through rejection. Just like every other structure, it is formed through a trauma that then creates a defense mechanism in the body. And that defense mechanism sets up the schizoid structure in this case. The rejection leaves the baby, the tiny baby, with the message, you are not welcome here. You are not worthy. You have no value. We don't want you here. You don't belong. And these become engraved in the emotional structure. Physically, it manifests itself as fear. A fear paralysis of the whole body. And so most of the energy will be right here and most of that energy will be in the mind, in the head. So it will lead to a type of person who tends to think more, be more in the mind than in the body. Physically, this will usually lead to tensions in the shoulders, neck, and in the hips. The limbs are usually not felt and experienced very much. Instead, most of the person and the person feeling themselves as their dwelling place in their body is here. This structure has the ability to disassociate. It has been paralyzed by fear because it is afraid of dying. It is afraid of not being able to survive to be here because it's been rejected. And so, this leads to the ability to disassociate from feelings. You see, the baby thinks that if I feel something, I don't have the right to feel, so I cannot show my feelings. I cannot show what I need. I cannot demand what I need. I cannot ask for what I need. If I just stay here still enough, no one will notice me, almost not breathing, and this is something that is very typical for the schizoid, not breathing in a very visible way. So if, they, if I can just stay here, I can survive. But if I start breathing, start living, start demanding, start doing, I don't have the right to do that. So there is a split between survival and needs. And the baby and the person chooses to survive over trying to express their needs. And so, throughout their life, a schizoid person will have a lot of 
automatic strategies, things that they think are just natural to them, ways that they just tend to react, that will be based on trying to avoid rejection. And the way it will do it is usually by not connecting, by not making that deep, profound, intimate, lasting connection with others. And that will be what they most want, what they long for, that really deep, meaningful connection with someone. And yet, that is what harbors the deepest fears, the fear of dying, actually, in the case of the schizoid. And so the schizoid might have, for instance, a much easier time connecting to animals than to people, because people can reject you. Animals can't really, in that same way. And so they might be able to develop really deep connections with animals, something that maybe, maybe many other structures might not really have the ability to do and cannot really understand how that's... Well, it's just an animal. What do you mean? Whereas for the schizoid, it's a meaningful, deep connection that they have been able to establish. And so the schizoid will not make the connection, and also often reject when they think, when they're trying to make a connection, but they think that there might be something where in the future they might be rejected, and so they reject first. These are just some typical ways of the schizoid. And then it depends on what other structures you have on top. So you might either become a person who does not compete at all, because you just feel worthless and uh, you don't have the right to, you know, do anything. Or you might become the exact opposite and you might become this really competitive person. Because when you win, that's the only time you feel a little bit better about yourself. So how it manifests itself exactly will depend a little bit on other things that have happened during the person's life. But the basic core is a feeling of unworthiness at the bottom. So what can you do if you have a schizoid structure? The way to treat it at the root is to try to take these two that are seen as opposites and blend them. So survival and needs, finding a way of uniting them so that on an emotional level, and this is not in your thinking mind, it has nothing to do with logic, it has to do with what your emotional beliefs are. So the idea is to unite these so that you can feel I belong here. I have the right to be here. I have the right to express my feelings, my needs. I have the right to ask. But, and so if, if you want to know, if, for instance, if you have a schizoid structure and you want to know, have I united those or haven't I united those? Just by saying these affirmations, See what happens in your body. Do you automatically disassociate from your feelings? For instance, you might say, I have the right to be here. But in your in, in inside of you, you disassociate from your feelings and you just go from your mind and say, logically, I know I have the right to be here and you can be angry about it. And that's how it is. But inside, you're not open, loving, knowing that this is the truth. So if, if inside of you there is any type of tension when you say these things, I belong here. And you can feel an expansive feeling, then you have managed to unite the, the two. I have the right to 
express my feelings. And if inside of you there isn't any tension or, or any, any part that all of a sudden you feel nothing and you just say, I have the right to be here, there's nothing, you actually feel a positive, expansive feeling. Well, if you feel the positive, expansive feeling, then know that you're on the right way and you're uniting the two. Schizo structure is just one of the five basic structures that we have in bioenergetics. So I hope it has been informative. And there is so much more you can read about it. So what we've talked about here is only scratching on the surface. I hope you enjoyed it.